Ta-da! Right, so, let's try and not run over time because otherwise Leon will glare at me. This is Pins and Needles. Um, it is about overlaying CPAN. Um, basically, the thing of... Right, okay, so, um, these slides are going to be not much of a surprise to most of you, but somebody always asks me so. Shadow Cat, Mark Keating and I... Um, founded some years ago, consultancy and CPAN commercial support, which leads us to spending quite a lot of time dealing with dependency and deployment management, because every new customer is a new and exciting train wreck with that regard, and we tend to want to try and put it, turn it into something standardised so we can actually spin up dev environments. Um, <coughs> you often have production code that needs specific versions of things, and also you'll have custom private distributions, because otherwise you end up with one giant monorepo, and, well, everybody knows how much fun that often isn't, so... Um, existing solutions to this set of problems. Well, there's Carton. Carton is wonderful. You should probably be using Carton as well as anything else. Um, Carton pins everything at once. Great for reproducible builds. Not trivial to handle custom disks, though. Um, so, basically, you need Carton and something else if you've got multiple dark pan disks, generally. Um, so, the old workhorse, CPAN Mini, CPAN Mini Inject. Totally works, but it's kind of stupid. It's not the good sort of stupid either, it's just dumb. Um, <laughs> on the other hand, it is lovingly maintained, totally works, totally does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, Pinto, Pinto has got um, quite a bit of publicity over the past few years. Um, Pinto is maximum overkill, and I don't mean that as a criticism, merely as a statement of fact, right? Um, it's a giant moose code base, um, hugely configurable, lots of power, too many moving parts for my taste. Um, or Pan 2, hadn't heard of that at all. If you haven't heard of it, go look at it, it's well worth a look. It's a nice middle ground between the previous two, but it still requires a full set of tarballs on disk, and I don't want to have to pull down an entire CPAN mirror every time just to pin one distribution. I want fast experiments, <coughs> and not too much disk space. So of course, I wrote a thing, um, <laughs> which is app OPAN. OPAN for overlay on top of CPAN, right? Um, written with Mojalicious and Disk Metadata. Um, the great thing about this is the actual application itself is a single file, and the dependencies are all fat packable, so you can generate a single bundled file for doing things. Maximum underkill, intentionally. Going in the sort of great spirit of CPAN minus, except I'm not nearly as good at user interfaces as Miyagawa. Maybe I can trick him into taking a commit, but at some point, anyway. Um, open init, starts up a thing, creates a pan slash directory tree, which has all your data in them. Um, you can pin a specific version of a distribution, unpin it by name, um, add a private distribution which goes into a separate um, custom disk directory, unadd, what a surprise, fetch pulls down the um, upstream CPAN02 packages so you have control when you actually update your version of CPAN dependencies, merge combines those um, with your custom index so you can either do fetch, add, add, pin, merge, or you can just do pull which does a fetch and a merge. If you do open daemon, that starts up a daemon on local host that serves all of your local disks locally, a merged copy of 02 packages, and automatically proxies to upstream CPAN for everything else. So your upstream CPAN mirror just provides everything else and you don't need them on disk. Um, so you have upstream, which is the pure upstream, no pin, which excludes the pin set, combined, which is everything. Combined is what you normally use. Uh, why do we have no pin? For testing upgrades. So you can bypass your pinning and see whether the latest version actually works, and if it does, pin that one. Great. Not everybody's using Carton. Uh, better still, if you set an environment variable of auto-pin, then hitting no pin will automatically pin every disk that gets fetched. You can just do a CPAN M upgrade and get pinning. Um, it helps if you keep the pan slash in a Git repository. The 02 packages files are kept in text format specifically to make it so you have diffs. Uh, running a server isn't that hard, but we can make things even simpler. Open CPAN M starts the server on a random free port and then passes that to CPAN, CPAN M as the CPAN mirror so you don't have to configure anything. Runs it with mirror and mirror only um, and then you can tell it which pan you want to pull it from. Um, also, there's an open carton that does the same thing but sets things up for carton by setting the environment variable. Um, so as an example, to try the pull 5, pull 6 demo from my earlier talk, and this is just an example, um, I took that directory, uh, which is basically a bunch of tarballs built via make disk. When I get a new customer, I go across all of their repositories, write a tiny for loop in shell that does perl make file dot pl make disk on all of them. So I grab all of those tarballs, do an open init, exile's open add, and a pull, 
And now I have a complete open setup with all of those dark pandas in. Um, so 6dis.tgz on my site is that plus the demo script. And if you unpack that table, get open install, do open cart and install, and cart and exec will just work. And it's just pulled all of the upstream CPAN stuff straight through from CPAN through the Modulicious proxy server, while pulling the local stuff from the local directory using the index and the stuff that you gave it before. Um, and that basically just works. Or at least it worked on my machine. <laughs> Um, so help, as always, is available by the... Okay, I put this bit in for Mark. Seriously, he complains if I don't remind them we do actually take people's money occasionally. Um, uh, to be honest, it's a 0.002 release. It works. I would much rather have you test it, break it, send me bugs, send me patches, come harass me on IRC. I'd rather um, have the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you would. Uh, um... But I have been using this for a few things now. I haven't broken it yet. Clearly something is very wrong here. Somebody else needs to bend it until it snaps, so I'm confident that, I've act that it actually works. Um, so that's where the discs are. That's it on CPAN, and thank you!